Okay, guys, just watching the replay of another turn here. Sorry for the music in the background. I think I've got another game running that's producing that music. I thought about it last night, and I think I'll be leaving this game if the Axis player keeps using the Italian fleet to scout, so I'm going to write him a message that I'm not willing to play if that's how he's gonna gonna play with that kind of tactic. I haven't seen it before, but it just seems too unsporting. All right, the British get a couple of destroyers, greatly needed. Probably should have placed them right outside of the port. That way another ship could have used that port, but too late now. Russia gets some engineers. So let's start out by digging in a little line near Leningrad, I think. I think we'll just go with a two hex side fort, maybe. It's quicker, not quite as good, but I think it'll be okay. All right, let me send him a message. characters here. Okay, hopefully that'll get the point across. Okay, so now it looks like it's time to potentially return to base here. Let's just see. I never really look at the reports, but just want to see how many units got killed. So Britain lost a carrier. Germany lost a couple of battle cruisers and a heavy cruiser. I would say that loss is worse for Britain. Losing a carrier is a really big deal, but it can't be helped. It's done now. Um, so the trick here would be to... Every time a unit is lost, you lose national morale, which is really important. So I want to make it back to port with all of these ships without losing any more. I believe they've left the area, so it seems pretty safe to go back to port. Let me just try to verify that by moving a cruiser through the area. And then I'll send this destroyer back. And this destroyer can go these ports. So 
a little dangerous to go through this unscouted water, but I think that the axis has really abandoned the area from what I can see, so that's why I'm doing it. Actually should have sent that guy to another port where he can be repaired. Those are all the ports that can actually repair ships for the allies right now. I could move this guy out to get another ship into port. Do I want to do that? No, I think I'll just leave him in port because I probably won't have enough MPPs anyway to repair all of these ships, sadly. I'll turn this guy, Convoy Raider, to on. Same here. Okay, everyone's back in port after that escapade. Losing a carrier is rough though. Alright, now how to deal with the French. <clears throat> Let's see what kind of morale we have on these units. So the question is, do I reinforce this guy or bring in another unit? I think I will bring in another unit. So let's pull back with this unit. bring the engineer north to try to build a fort near Paris. Let me turn that music off for you. Okay, I think I got rid of the music. Um, so, how to spend the rest of the French treasury here. I think I'll try to reinforce this unit. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I left one battleship out there. Let's Send him home. And then we have this destroyer. I really don't want him to be caught out there alone. So I think what I'll do is kind of try to sneak him through to join up with the rest of the fleet. I had sent this guy back, but maybe instead I can try to hunt around for that cruiser. Maybe I'll get lucky and hit him. Oh! There's that transport. Oh, okay, he's going to Africa, it looks like, that Italian transport. 
I need to move my unit that is marching through Rhodesia. New units, Chinese, okay. So let me go ahead and move my Russian army west from Siberia. More Siberians will show up when the war with Germany occurs. There will be a whole bunch that show up here. I've seen it before. So this isn't all the Siberian army. It's just uh, a part of it. Okay, it looks like the Soviets are kind of shaping up into the positions I want them to be in. And put this guy in Murmansk. And this guy on the Persian border. This guy can garrison this port, Poti, so that the Germans can't invade there. Or it'll be tough for them to invade. And then I think the main thing left to do is, well, let me just check France once more. I think we're about where we want to be there. It's a bad position, but not much else we can do. Take a look at China. So we've really got no choice but to pull out of the city here with the headquarters. Um, I think I'll try to hold this marsh through the bad weather if I can. Let's see if I can. It's January now. Um, very important to get Chinese research rolling. So I would really like to invest in some research this turn. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to do that. Um question is, do I put some points into this guy or this guy? I think I'd like to get the headquarters moving south, so I will not reinforce this six-pointer. Instead, I'll move the headquarters. But I might reinforce this four-pointer. So let me just check what I can do with research at this point. I've already got infantry weapons running. That's good. Um, I would like to go for spying and intelligence with the Chinese. I don't know if that's a good or a bad move, but I like to get uh, that because then all their other research goes more quickly and you can put two chits into it so you can sort of roll through it pretty quickly. I think I might go for that. Um, I'm going to do that. And the next turn I'll try to put another one in. I, I really don't know if that's a good move, but I like to do it. I think I'll pull this headquarters back and let this guy start to entrench here. And then points that I have left I will sink in here the bad thing is that I would like to have this unit where the headquarters is so that he can shuffle into the city if I take a lot of losses there but um, I'll just make do with the situation as it stands new units I do have an army coming in where to put it I would say this chain shock corridor is a good place for it because I don't think he's pressing down here. Normally I would want an army there, but since he doesn't seem to be pressing, I'll put him on this Ching, Ching Shock corridor here. And then uh, nothing else left to do except research and build and diplomacy, so <clears throat> let's hit the research first. The Soviets... Um, again, it's the question, do you go for supply or spying and intelligence? I think since I have infantry weapons and tanks are really important for the Soviets, those are already started. I'm going to go ahead and hit the intelligence um, research tree here, a research area. And for the US, same thing, I'm going to hit intelligence because really my most important things are infantry weapons and fighters. I have both of those underway. So, I mean, the other option would be to go ground attack weapons or tanks, but I think I want to go for this intelligence uh, with them as well. I, I, I don't know if it's a good idea, but I like to do it. 
Here I've already got two in spying and intelligence. I've got two in ASW. I'm actually at my max. I'm at 1950. So now the question is, what do I build with the UK? So I think maybe a engineer is a good idea. So I'm going to kick off that purchase, I think. Then I have enough left for a motor torpedo boat, an escort carrier, or a maritime bomber. Maritime bombers can be really devastating. They're great. They only cost 150. Torpedo boat costs 75. I don't think I built either of those last time. So, um, and escort carriers are good, but they're slow. Uh, maritime bomber, you can sort of operate around to the area where you need it. I think I might go with a maritime. No, hard to decide here. I think I might go with a maritime bomber as a a good long-term kind of purchase here. Torpedo boats build really fast for three. Also, an anti-air would be very nice for France. So let's go with that instead. Uh, and even if it doesn't go to France, it can help defend England. So that's a good move there. Um, so do I want to spend that one? If I wait for that guy, uh, I think I better not wait. I better build because the Germans are already making progress in France. So it would be nice to be able to send him over. Um, and then this destroyer could make his way through the med now that he's reinforced. And the question is, do I spend the points to increase the strength of this carrier or cruiser? I don't think so. I think I'll wait until next turn. So I'm going to end the turn here. Do I want to occupy Iceland? Yes, I do. There was no raiding this turn. It's kind of good. Alright, thanks you guys. I will see you in another video.